Andrew McCarr, IFL TV in association with MTK Go. But wait, 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 wait. Let me get down. Let me get down. There it is there. Keyshawn Davis making his pro debut this Saturday night here in Miami on the Canelo Yeldrum undercard. You look happy. Are you happy? Man, I'm more than happy. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly ready to fight and show the fans what I'm really coming with. Well, for the fans that don't know, this is your debut. Um, you've had an outstanding pedigree in the amateurs. So for the UK fans, it's a UK channel. But for the UK fans that might not know your fighting style, might not have seen you fight, how would you break it down? Uh, I'm a boxer first. But then if I need to get aggressive, I'm going to get aggressive. Um, I feel like I'm a person that always stays in your face. I'm going to stay in your face whether I'm back, whether you backing me up or I'm backing you up or whether you moving side to side. I'm always going to be in your face, fainting you with my jab in front of your face, maybe talking to you. I'm just a person that's going to irritate the, my opponent. And, um, yeah. So it's something to look forward to then. You know what I mean? Is the, the fans are going to be a fan friendly style. Is that how you break it down? Uh, yes, I'm definitely a fan friendly style. Uh, I like to put on a great performance. Um, even when I don't try to put on a great performance, I put on great performances, and it's just in me. I'm a natural. Talk to me about your debut then. How excited are you to meet? I know it's different circumstances here. You're inside a bubble, all the pandemic, everything that's going on in this world. So it's quite a unique time to make your pro debut, but it's finally here in front of 12,000, 15,000 fans at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. I mean, could it get any better? Nah, I honestly can't get any better. And, um, this is just the world we live in. You know, this is the new world we live in, so it is the best way to make my debut under the Canelo undercard, and um, especially coming off of amateurs. Um, it can't get no better than this. And then being that my birthday is the next day after, it's a great timing right now. So Sunday's your birthday? <laughs> yes, sir. I'll remember that. I'll remember give you some uh, happy birthday. Um, what can we expect from you in your pro debut then? I know a lot of people that make their professional debut, they, they're anxious to get the stoppage. They, they want to get that knockout to prove to people, to prove to the, the, the fans that they're ready for the pro game. But how are you going to approach this fight and what can we expect from you? Um, I learned off them. I learned all the people that was anxious to get the knockout for their debuts. All that stuff doesn't matter if your performance don't look good. You know, you can knock somebody out, but the, in the style you knocked them out didn't look good. Understand what I'm saying? And I learned off of Terrence Crawford pro debut, Earl Spence pro debut, Shakur Stevenson pro debut, Ali pro debut. I watched so many pro debuts and assessed how I want to go out there. I just want to go out there and give a great performance. And if I look great, then that's all that matters. I've read some of that you're a super featherweight, but you look massive. What, what, <laughs> what, what weight are you fighting at? I'm fighting at 135, but I believe I can get down to 130 also. So, super featherweight? Yes. That's, you, you're, like, you're, you're my height right now, man. You're, you're a little bit taller, man. So, you're going to be a big... If you get down to uh, super featherweight 130, man, you're going to be big at that weight. Yes, man. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to be campaigning at 135, 130, man. Uh, I made my, my fight weight. You know, we were stuck in our rooms for about two, for about two days. You know, I made my fight weight just soaking in the tub. Without having to put in the extra jump rope in, shadow boxing, hitting the pads or whatever. I made my fight weight easy and I feel good. I think I can go down to 130 real easy. Now that's why I'm going to be campaigning at 130, 135. Doesn't matter what division you're going to campaign at. I mean, you've got f tough, tough fighters at the world level already. I mean, let's just go 135. You've got Teofimo Lopez, T Devin Haney, uh, Javonte Davis, Ryan Garcia. Go down to 130. You've got Oscar Valdez. You've got Jamel Herring. You've got Burchell. He's still a big player in that division. You've got Frampton. Uh, I mean, MT, you know what I mean? He's a good MTK fighter, but um, doesn't matter where you go, it's going to be tough. Uh, it's only going to be tough if I make it tough. Honestly, I believe in my ability. I feel like I'm a great, great boxer. Uh, it's funny you didn't mention Shakur Stevenson, but I feel like... My bad, yeah, Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, that's my bad. No, it's all good, man, but I feel like I'm going to be something like a Shakur Stevenson, but just with more explosion, um, more grit. Just a, a, a great a great boxer, understand what I'm saying? I'm starting out my pro debut going six rounds. A lot of these prospects start out going four, understand what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to going eight, my next fight. So, um, like I said, the ball in my park of how fast I want to move and uh, what weight class I want to really get my title at. But like you said, it doesn't matter. It's great names all over. I'm going to get your thoughts on then, uh, Oscar Valdez's win against Burchelt last weekend. I mean, a sensational knockout, wasn't it? <laughs> Man, it was a sensational fight leading up to the knockout. Valdez dominated every single round, and that's something nobody expected. Um, some of, we all expected just a great fight, and if it was going to be a domination, we all thought it was going to be on Miguel Burchelt's side. But Oscar Valdez proved all us wrong, and all props to Oscar Valdez. Man, you look great, and you actually inspired me. 
Jamal Herring, Carl Frampton, that fight's been on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. It's been ongoing for like the best part of a year now. I mean, you, as a boxing, as a boxer and as a boxing fan, you must be itching to see this fight. Uh, uh, what's your thoughts on it, and who wins for you in your eyes, Jamal Herring, Carl Frampton? Um, I'm going for Jamal Herring just on the fact that him and Chance Crawford are like all my friends, honestly. Like they're my friends, and um, I've been learning so much alongside them in amateurs. But um, just as a fighter, man, I actually feel bad for them living in this world nowadays and they can't get a fight off like they just want to fight and move on to the next big fight understand what i'm saying they they still waiting and honestly i was scared that i was actually nervous if my opponent would catch it or if i would catch it i just hope i was hoping everything would go great for me and just seeing what they going through i, I can't imagine how they feel so um all i can say is keep your head up man i can't wait to see y'all fight and y'all gonna get it done sooner or later I heard that you, you fought a guy, a fighter that's on the same card as you, Mark Castro. You thought, fought him a couple of times in the amateurs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, well, is that a future fight in the, in the pro ranks? Because I don't know, how many times did you fight Mark and what was the, 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 the score? Um, I fought Mark twice, man. We were 17 years old. Uh, he got me twice. Uh, he was the USA boxing favorite. Uh, all eyes against me, but all respect to Mark. Understand what I'm saying? And, um, he's campaigning at 126. Um, I'm at 135 right now, but like I said, I think I can make 130. But I would love to fight Mark in the near future. I think it'll be another fight like a Floyd and Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya, or uh, like a Floyd and a Ricky Hatton, something like that, something real big. And um, I think me and Mark can make it happen, and I'm pretty sure Mark would love to make that fight happen in the future. Finally, before I let you go and do some other media opportunities or duties, should I say, the, the main event this weekend, Canelo versus Yildirim, um, what's your thoughts on that fight? Um, I just think Canelo going to give another great performance, man. Um, not to mention Kovalev, but I think he's going to beat dude up like he did Kovalev and get him up out of there in a fantastic way. Uh, I think it's going to be a knockout. Um, I, don't, I don't really know much about the other dude. I think I've seen the fight like once, but just knowing how great Canelo is, ain't nobody stopping him in this generation. Hey, Keyshawn, I won't keep you much longer, as always. Pleasure in this fight, TV, and good luck this Saturday night. Thank you, thank you. Anything, brother. Thank you.